California CDL air brakes test. Question 1. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the S cam drum, disc drum, wedge drum. Answer S cam drum. Question 2. The service brake applies and releases. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 3. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because It is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter N. Answer It is shaped like the letter S. Question 4. The proper method of braking when going down a long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 5 10 15 Answer 5 Question 5. If you must make an emergency stop, brake so you Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Answer. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 6. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 100 20 60 Answer. 20 Question 7. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. 5 sixteenths 1 half 1 fourth Answer 1 half Question 8 the brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Service Parking Emergency Answer Service Question 9. To test the air leakage rate you should Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 10 Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to Increased contact between the brake drums and linings Expansion of the brake drums Proper adjustment of S-CAM
Answer. Expansion of the brake drums. Question 11. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used. Anytime the vehicle is parked. To hold your speed when going downhill. As little as possible. Answer. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Question 12. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 13. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. 5 sixteenths 1 fourth 1 half Answer 1 half Question 14. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air Air brakes use different brake drums. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 15. The emergency brake system Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 16. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed oil. Compressed gas. Compressed hair. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 17. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in a buildup of brake air pressure. No change of brake air pressure. The loss of brake air pressure. Answer. The loss of brake air pressure. Question 18. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 20 45 60 Answer. 45. Question 19. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking. Answer. Stop braking, turn quickly, 
and counter steer. Question 20. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 150 75 125 Answer 125 Question 21. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. As little as possible. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 22. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 23. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, linings are pressed against the Slack adjuster Brake drum S-cam Answer Brake drum Question 24. To test the air leakage rate you should Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 25. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Hydraulic pressure Air pressure Spring pressure Answer Spring pressure Question 26. The service brake applies and releases. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. In the event of an emergency. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 27. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 45 feet. 32 feet. 65 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 28. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Answer. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 29. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. As little as possible. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. 
Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 30. The parking brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 31. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Braking effect of the engine Use of the spring brakes Use of the front brake limiting valve Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 32 Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. SCAM Emergency Foot Answer Emergency Question 33 you are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 25 35 30 Answer 35 Question 34. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 35. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Answer. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 36. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. One. Two. Three. Answer. Two. Question 37. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can. Release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 38. Under normal conditions in order to engage the parking brakes the driver must first Turn off the engine 
be sure air brakes system is fully pressurized. Let the air out of the spring brakes. Answer. Let the air out of the spring brakes. Question 39. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes to 2. Distance. Reaction distance. Effective braking. Brake lag. Answer. Brake lag. Question 40. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you can coast downhill. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 41. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 100. 120. 80. Answer. 100. Question 42. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used to hold your speed when going downhill as little as possible any time the vehicle is parked answer any time the vehicle is parked question 43 if your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 20 60 45 Answer 45 Question 44 the driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below 60 pounds per square inch 100 pounds per square inch 80 pounds per square inch Answer 60 pounds per square inch Question 45. The air compressor governor controls. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks, air pressure applied to the brakes, the speed of the air compressor. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks, Question 46. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? If your brakes are very hot. If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. Answer. If your brakes are very hot. Question 47. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, linings are pressed against the Brake drum Slack adjuster S-cam Answer Brake drum
Question 48. What is a dual error brake system? A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Answer A two brake system. One operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 49. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 125 150 75 Answer 125 Question 50 If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time Your air pressure may drop too low during driving The alcohol container may be low You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop Answer. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 51. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because It is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter N. Answer It is shaped like the letter S. Question 52. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? From 100 to 250 feet more than 300 feet less than 100 feet answer more than 300 feet question 53 in air brake vehicles the parking brake should be used anytime the vehicle is parked to hold your speed when going downhill as little as possible answer anytime the vehicle is parked question 54 if you do not have automatic tank drains how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks after every four hours of service at the end of each day of driving once a week answer at the end of each day of driving question 55 a slack adjuster's free plane needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One-fourth inch One inch One-half inch Answer One inch Question 56 The emergency brake system Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer 
uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 57. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 80 pounds per square inch. 60 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 58. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. So you can coast downhill. So you can go through the gears on the way down. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 59. Emergency control braking is when you Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 60. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Spring. Air. Fluid. Answer. Spring. Question 61. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Spring pressure Hydraulic pressure Air pressure Answer Spring pressure Question 62. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 150 100 50 Answer 150 Question 63. The parking brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency, the brake pedal during normal driving. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Answer The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 64. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Air. Fluid. Spring. Answer. Spring. Question 65. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Braking effect of the engine Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 66 when you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, linings are pressed against the 
break drum s cam slack adjuster answer break drum question 67 air brake equipped vehicles have an air use gauge a backup hydraulic system an air supply pressure gauge answer an air supply pressure gauge question 68 to check the brake slack adjusters on s cam brakes you should park on Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 69. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 60. 80. 50. Answer. 60. Question 70. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Answer. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 71. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter C. Answer It is shaped like the letter S. Question 72 During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Springs, air pressure, bolts and braces. Answer Air pressure. Question 73 What are spring brakes? Brakes used for parking. If the air brakes leak down, Springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. The spring on the brake pedal. Answer If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 74 Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. S cam. Emergency. Foot. Answer. Emergency. Question 75. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? 
less than 100 feet, more than 300 feet, from 100 to 250 feet. Answer More than 300 feet. Question 76. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 77 If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could lock up. The brakes could fail. The brakes could heat up. Answer The brakes could fail. Question 78 The S CAM forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum, controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers, pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 79. What are the slack adjusters? It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. It is an adjusting nut on the, the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Answer. It is an adjusting nut on the, the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 80. What are the slack adjusters? It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut on the, the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Answer It is an adjusting nut on the, the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 81 The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 60 80 50 Answer 60 Question 82 Emergency control braking is when you Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 83. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Answer. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. 
Question 84. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you can coast downhill. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 85. To test the air leakage rate you should Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 86. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is in the air tanks you have used in this trip is going to the brake chambers. Answer. Is in the air tanks. Question 87. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly Answer a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 88. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? Once a week. After every four hours of service. After every working day. Answer. After every working day. Question 89. A slack adjuster's free plane needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One fourth inch. One inch. One half inch. Answer. 1 inch Question 90 The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Answer. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Question 91. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 92. What is a dual error brake system? A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle.
answer. A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 93. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly Answer a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 94. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. So you can coast downhill. So you can go through the gears on the way down. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 95. Why must air tanks be drained? To drain moisture and oil out of tank. To drain all the air out of the tank. To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 96. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheel's locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 97. The air compressor governor controls. Air pressure applied to the brakes. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. The speed of the air compressor. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 98. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes to 2. Distance. Brake lag. Reaction distance. Effective braking. Answer. Brake lag. Question 99. What are spring brakes? Brakes used for parking. The spring on the brake pedal. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Answer If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 100. If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. The brakes could heat up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 101. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 50 60 
80. Answer. 60. Question 102. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 103. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute. Answer. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Question 104. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have. In a modulating control valve. In the tanks. When you are applying to the brakes. Answer. When you are applying to the brakes. Question 105. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause Modulated control valve to wear out. Brake linings to split up. Brake fade or failure. Answer. Brake fade or failure. Question 106. You should know that your brakes are fading when You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Answer you have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 107. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 120. 100. 80. Answer. 100. Question 108. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. If your brakes are very hot. If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. Answer. If your brakes are very hot. Question 109. To check the brake slack adjusters on S-CAM brakes you should park on. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Park on level ground. Chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 110. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. 
Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Answer Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 111. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 45 feet. 32 feet. 65 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 112. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. After every working day. Once a week. Answer. After every working day. Question 113. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. To have a drink available if you get thirsty. So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 114. Controlled braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 115 If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. The brakes could heat up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 116. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 117 Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 118 The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve. Use of the spring brakes. Braking effect of the engine. Answer. Braking effect of the engine. 
Question 119. The modulating control valve allows you to control the amount of pressure in the brake system. Spring brakes. Front brakes. Answer. Spring brakes. Question 120. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. To have a drink available if you get thirsty. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 121. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than Psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 2 1 3 Answer 2 Question 122. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 60 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 123. You should know that your brakes are fading when you have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Answer. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 124. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 80. 60. 50. 60. Question 125. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the brake lines to plug. Modulating control valve to wear out. Brakes to fade or fail. Answer. Breaks to fade or fail. Question 126. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The emergency relay valve. The one-way check valve. The tractor protection valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 127. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you can coast downhill. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 128. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. 
brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 129. The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 130. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 75 125 150 Answer 125 Question 131. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Bolts and braces Air pressure Springs Answer Air pressure Question 132, the S-CAM Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 133. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used Anytime the vehicle is parked As little as possible To hold your speed when going downhill Answer Anytime the vehicle is parked Question 134. What is a dual error brake system? A two braking system, one for each side of the vehicle. A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. A two braking system, one for daytime and one for nighttime driving. Answer. A two brake system, one operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Question 135. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 136. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air use gauge An air supply pressure gauge a backup hydraulic system. Answer 
An air supply pressure gauge. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.